investigation has shown that neither officer was wearing his seatbelt. It has also shown that they were driving 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile an hour zone. It showed that Officer Beidel was the driver of the vehicle and that was confirmed by Officer Nishiwa who spoke with investigators just yesterday. And finally, our investigation showed following impact, Officer Beidel was ejected from the car and Officer Nishiwa was inside the car, but not in a seat. These recent tragedies have brought to light a nationwide problem of police officers not wearing seat belts. We enforce the rules and we also set the example. We have both the responsibility and obligation to drive in a safe and prudent manner. Corrective action is being taken. Over the past several months, we began developing additional training and review of our driving policy to include having focus groups with patrol officers and supervisors to evaluate best practices for emergency driving. The deputy chiefs of our patrol division visited private sector businesses, for example, UPS, to see if any of their safety practices are applicable to emergency driving. I am reinforcing the message to all Metro personnel that they must wear their seat belts. Supervisors are being directed to take enforcement action if they don't. I would much rather hold our officers accountable by issuing citations or discipline for not wearing his or her seat belt or for driving carelessly than to plan another funeral.